I wanna stand with you on a mountain. I wanna bathe with you in the sun. I love that song. Nice. I love that song. Uh, what's been happening? Uh, a little bit of life in Hollywood's been happening. This is happening right now. Um, I have created a record. I have um, sculpted it out of clay. No, I've worked with a producer named Matt Radosevich, and uh, we were over at Barefoot Studios, and we uh, worked on a record, a 13-song record. And uh, it's going to be called Forever Is Not Enough. Forever Is, Forever is Not Enough is a love song. Is a love song. It's a, um, it's a song that speaks to the idea that when you are eating good food, you want it to last forever. No, the idea is that when you have a love, you know, you don't ever want it to end. <clears throat> whether you believe in life after death, whether you believe you can continue the love or whatnot, the love eternal forever, okay? That's forever is not enough. Um, so it's kind of funny because forever is enough because forever has to be enough. Right. But we'll go too far and say forever is not enough because that bleeding edge of poetry is what I feel is, is exciting, that fine line, you know. Yeah, I wrote this song. Um, this song kind of came, some, some song, do you mind if I eat? No, go ahead. Uh, some songs like come together really fast. Some, um, there's, okay, there's many different parts of the song. Sometimes you have the vibe, lyrics, whatever. In this case, pretty much every part of the song kind of fell in line in one night. Um, wow. I had to, I mean, by that I mean maybe I structure the song and write first chorus, first verse, and get the vibe, get everything. And even some of the production that I did at home, we took into the studio and, and added that into the actual, you know, full mastered uh, version. So that's going to be the title track. Uh, right now I've released a single uh, to radio. It's also online. It's called War with the Wolves. Uh, this is a song that I am, and video actually, that I'm super proud of. It's got this, um, what it was, well, let me explain. I have another. <laughs> you have stuff going on. I, 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 don't, I don't know where to, where to start, but I guess it doesn't matter where I start as long as I cover the ground. Throughout my career with music, I have had to keep in mind commercial elements, okay? It's not necessarily a bad thing always because sometimes when you keep that in mind, you are you are pulling away from certain explicit content that might otherwise shock and draw a crowd, but you have to be more creative. You have to find ways to, to, to get to people where, you know, it's not going to be um, censored or obnoxious or whatever, okay? So, so I've, but, but I, I've lived in this world a little bit. Um, you know, I come from uh, the Click 5, and the Click 5 was very, um, it was a very, like, very young, oriented uh, pop band, pop rock band, okay? So, um, I lived in that space for, for quite a while. Now, mind you, I grew up with all kinds of different music, and, and um, though I am fond of pop stuff, and, I mean, as far as, like, you know, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, and those are good songs, those guys are good performers, good voices, nice guys. Um, but, that, but that is not the, that is not the, um, all-encompassing concept of what I like in music. Okay, I like much edgier stuff, um, harder, harder music, uh, more exotic music, harder images. Uh, so, so what I did with War with the Wolves. Now we're getting back on topic. What what I did with War with the Wolves is I, I was like, you know what? I, I just did a video that I really liked. Did a couple videos. Um, one for Leaving You Lonely. One for uh, Wherever You Are. These are these are videos on YouTube. Okay. My YouTube channel is official E Dill. That's also my Twitter account. Um, but um, so what I did was I, I said to myself, I don't really mind so much going outside of some of these little restrictions. Like I gotta show my face. I gotta have images and, and feelings that um, you know a third grader would not be offended by. No offense right. to anyone, but you know what I'm saying. Right. Um, so what I did was I, I just I wasn't afraid and I wasn't trying to be you know crass, but I, you know. I got a little edgy. I had, you know, wolf masks. I had painted my face, you know. Whoa. I had, like, harder images, flashing lights in a dark room, you know, like, kind of heavier stuff, but, but also but also animated, you know. Like, I played uh, different wolves in masks in the video and painted my face, and, you know, I kind of gave it, like, character, almost like, you know, kind of like larger than life. Kinda, yeah. Um, the, the, the concept of the video it, it is fun. It's memorable. Um, 
it's edgy and and it and it's fun for me because the song itself is that um, it's it's like it's like you know it's like this disclaimer to people that there are what I just I just refer to as wolves in this okay they're just like people who are monsters okay I hate to say it like that but some people in this world will will take advantage of you know you and they, they won't they won't fill you in and you're just something for them to go somewhere else use you they are the wolves they prey on people this song is Keep your eyes open for that. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Say what you need to say. You know, you you, you don't need to be involved or pushed around by any of that kind of stuff. Um, and then I put in in the context of a girl because to me, I mean, I'm sorry, but younger girls have it harder than anyone in my opinion because everyone's after them. So I spoke to that, you know, and I said, you know, I st stay wild and free and, and run with the ones that keep you wild. Stay innocent like a child, you know? And I don't care what you find when you get there. Just war with the wolves, okay? So it's like, I'm not trying to tell you how you gotta be, but just know that you're gonna have to fight tooth and nail sometimes against people that uh, will take advantage of you. Bye.